Making the decision to move into an assisted living community can be a significant change, but it is often an essential step towards ensuring your own or your senior loved one's well-being. However, the costs associated with assisted living can be a significant financial burden for many families. In this video, we will explore different ways to pay for assisted living and provide information on available resources that can ease the financial strain. So let's get started. When considering assisted living for a senior parent, it is crucial to understand the various factors that contribute to the overall costs. On average, assisted living costs $4,500 per month. Factors like the location of the facility, the length of stay, the type of accommodations, and the services and amenities offered can all affect the cost. Another significant factor is the level of care required. Memory care, for instance, can add an additional expense to the overall cost. Most assisted living communities offer an all-inclusive monthly fee that covers things like accommodations, utilities, meals, transportation, activities, and senior care. However, there may be additional costs for specific services or amenities. It's important to carefully review the payment structure and included services of each assisted living facility to ensure it meets the needs and budget of your senior parent. Now, let's explore 10 different ways to pay for assisted living. First up, we have Medicaid. Medicaid is a state-regulated program that may cover some medical aspects of care provided in an assisted living facility. While it does not typically cover room and board costs, it may help cover medical expenses, such as skilled nursing services or rehabilitative therapies. Next, we have Medicare. Medicare is a federal health insurance program that generally does not cover long-term care services. However, it may be used to cover some health care costs associated with assisted living, such as medication management or coordination with health care providers. Another option is long-term care insurance. This private insurance policy covers the costs of elder care, including assisted living. It's important to review and compare policies carefully, as premium prices and coverage options vary. Eligible wartime veterans and their surviving spouses may qualify for a pension program through the Department of Veterans Affairs, FA, called Aid and Attendance. This program can help offset the cost of senior care and provide additional financial support of up to $2,200 a month for a veteran and their spouse or up to $1,900 a month for a veteran without a dependent. Next up, we have life insurance settlements. A life insurance settlement involves selling an existing life insurance policy to a third party for cash. This cash can then be used to fund a long-term care benefit plan, such as assisted living expenses. You can also use bridge loans to offset the cost of assisted living. A bridge loan is a short-term loan that can be used to temporarily fund assisted living costs while other financial resources are being secured, such as selling a home or waiting for insurance benefits to begin. Options like bridge loans, reverse mortgages, or selling or renting the property can provide financial support. Another option is an annuity. This is a contract between a person and an insurance company that provides a steady stream of income during retirement. This income can be used to pay for assisted living and other long-term care services. Many states offer assistance programs for seniors who need help with assisted living costs. These programs vary by state and may have specific eligibility requirements. It's worth exploring what options are available in your area. Lastly, you should also check if your community has private funding. Some assisted living facilities offer their own private funding options for residents. Inquire with individual facilities to see if this is an option they provide. Now that we've covered different ways to pay for assisted living, let's discuss some tips for budgeting effectively. Some facilities may offer discounts or special promotions during specific times of the year or to fill vacancies. Inquiring about price flexibility can help you find potential cost-saving opportunities. Next, evaluate the benefits of all-inclusive pricing versus paying for services individually based on need. Sometimes, inclusive pricing can be more cost-effective. Sharing a room in an assisted living facility is another option to save money. This option can be more cost-effective and provide companionship for your senior parent. Companion living has been shown to have powerful wellness benefits for seniors in assisted living and memory care. You can also budget through discount programs. 
programs such as the National Council on Aging's Benefits Checkup can help eligible seniors save on essential expenses, freeing up funds for assisted living costs. Hiring a senior move manager can help with downsizing and transition costs, potentially providing guidance on selling possessions to cover assisted living expenses. This strategy can often pay for itself by making your or your senior loved ones move as easy and efficient as possible, saving countless hours of extra work and frustration. Now, let's look at tax credits and deductions. Seniors who meet the IRS definition of chronically ill and relatives who pay for at least 50% of their care may be eligible for tax credits or deductions. Consult a financial planner or elder law attorney to explore potential tax benefits. Lastly, take advantage of resources like Sunbound's Medicaid financing program. We can provide valuable guidance and support in finding affordable senior living options, as well as assistance in making monthly payments. That's all for this video. To learn more about how Sunbound can help make senior living more affordable for you or your loved one, send us an email at info at sunboundhomes.com or request more information on our website. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more senior living-related content. See you next time and happy retirement!